This is okay. the coolest activity ever. Oh, is Laura tickling your foot? Wait a minute. <laughs> Scan to enter. Today is day two of summer camp. We're wearing our secret agent shirts again. Don't worry, we wash them. We're at my friend's house. We're gonna be singing songs, playing games, and learning lots more stuff about spies. We start off every camp day with camp songs, and it's awesome just to get into a silly mode right away. Everybody's getting a notebook. Everybody can see it. Yeah. But you gotta keep whatever you write inside, you have to keep that top secret. Yeah. Oh. Now a spy is observant of everything. Colors, shapes, whatever's around you, right? They gotta be aware of everything. So I'm gonna show you this tray for a short amount of time. That's harder than ours. Their kids are working on their memory and recall, so we showed them a tray with all sorts of random objects on it, and they're supposed to remember as much as they can about it. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. It was like more of a turquoise-ish blue. Mom, I, ice cream. I'd love some ice cream. Wait, no, should be pot up. No. Thank you. The kids are navigating through a minefield together. They made up code names for the directions. You have hit a mine. Oh, it's going to go. Good job, Laura. Good job. So they're trying to get from this square to this square without hitting any mines. Taco. Taco. Another taco. Now Safe. They're allowed to move left, right, up, or down, no diagonals. Safe. Yes. What? Let her talk away. You hit a mine. <gasps> no! Waffle or burrito? <laughs> Lisey's safe. No. Mine. Oh no! Explosion! You decoded a lot of the mine. Safe. Slow down, dude! <laughs> um, I'll do that. Okay, safe. My favorite part of summer camp is learning with the kids and these ciphers and codes are really blowing my mind. I just didn't understand them and the kids are catching on super fast and it's so exciting when your mind finally figures it out. You're like, oh, it does make sense. Anyway, this is super fun. I had no idea there were so many different kinds. Loving this. The kids are making their own cipher discs. Boom. Now we attach them together. You see, that's so pretty. Thanks. Nice, happy color. Now the kids are using their cipher discs to encode and decode messages and to send each other secret messages. So back when I was in high school, I created a secret code that my best friend and I wrote notes to each other. We'd pass them in the hallways and I still remember the secret code. It was super fun. Just secret codes and messages are really entertaining. I love that Janae just participates in whatever way she can. 
here's her writing. That's quite the code. You can read. Spike so much fun. Okay, can everybody kind of see that bottom yeah. one? Can you see where it says, can you, R-E-A-D, can you read the secret? Janae found a fun new toy at our friend's house. She figured out how to put it back herself. Good job, Janae. Quick boxing workout time. My friend is so smart. In between the really thinking activities where you're sitting and learning things, she has some really great physical activities to break it up with. Ice cream, ice cream, mama, ice cream. Did you make some ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream. Now we're writing secret messages with lemon juice. We like eat. What? We like eat. Is that your secret message? Yeah. Wait, you're not supposed to tell me. What you're writing? Nothing. It's just lemon juice, you can taste it. And lime. But it actually tastes good. This is a mixture of Tide with water. So we're gonna let these secret messages dry and then the lemon juice one is activated by heat to reveal the secret message, but the laundry detergent one, apparently you can see under a UV light. Dun, dun, dun. This is the coolest activity ever. So the kids have white crayons and then there is a piece of paper for each kid with their secret agent code name on it. Then they're going around the room and writing nice things about each other, and then we're gonna paint over it and it'll reveal the nice messages that everybody in Spy Camp wrote about them. How do you spell adorable? Is that Garrett? Adorable, are you writing for yeah, Janae? Let's write Kids are now each getting a secret agent partner and they're going to use everything that they've learned today and do some secret missions together. So this is your first clue? Room that. Ooh. This is not it, no. So like, <laughs> we know it's room that, but okay. that doesn't This is a funny looking letter. Yes! Run, run, run! Perry the platypus! Okay, so look in the mirror again. Okay. Playground. Playground, bath outside. Let's go! Running upstairs. Okay, turn it on. Let's turn off the lights and see if we can reveal anything. It has to be on the wall somewhere. <gasps> Nancy Drew. <gasps> Nancy Drew. I think that must be part of the clue. N-C-Y. Drew. So they found a keyword cipher clue. Caleb, did you figure it out? Yeah. So now they're using their keyword ciphers to decode a cryptic message. There's something hidden on the walls. Can you take the black flashlight, turn off the lights, and rub that shut all over the walls? See if you can find something. Laura's on a mission. Found a UV light and a secret code. Nice. Yeah. On the blinds. It's a Polybius grid. All right, they have a magnifying glass. And they found, oh my goodness, can we see it? Wait. Sherlock Holmes. Carry the platypus. Now we have these, look. Oh wait, you're shining something on it. Oh, what? Oh, that is super cool. What'd you think of the secret mission? It was really fun, that one was really hard. It was, you guys, I'm amazed. That was impressive. So in the morning, all the different ages are together at summer camp, but in the afternoon we're dividing, so there's a junior camp and a senior camp. And we're doing that this year because the spy logic stuff that we're doing is actually pretty challenging, and we wanna make sure that the younger kids still have plenty of time to play. So I'm hosting junior camp today, and they are just playing in the basement, we're gonna jump on the trampoline, and then we're gonna have an ice cream sandwich picnic. 
the big kids are at my friend's house and they are doing these cool escape room games and we're gonna see how they do with that. Well, the basement is trashed, so hopefully that means they had a good time. They must have been very creative down here. Are we having fun in here? Yeah. Who wants to jump on the trampoline? Because after that, we're eating the, what was it called? Ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches. So they had the choice between ice cream sandwiches and popsicles, and everybody chose popsicles. Well, our friends are gone, and Janae is napping. I'm really tired, but the first thing we're gonna do is what? Clean up the basement. This place is now ready to play. Janae woke up from her nap and she did not wanna leave her blanket in her bed, so she's carrying her blanket around. She was so cute. She said, save it, mommy, save it. You still feeling a little tired? You worn out? Yeah, you still look a little bit tired. Should we make some dinner? <laughs> oh, is Laura tickling your foot? Wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> so none of our other kids have gotten super attached to their blankets, but this girl loves her magic blanket. That's what we call it. Because when she was about three weeks old, that blanket was the only thing that would magically calm her down. And besides me. mommy. And you? Mm. Whoa. Yeah. You guys ready for dinner? Yeah. yeah. How's the spaghetti, Nene? Great. So how did the afternoon go with Spy Camp? Awesome. So Kendra has been under the impression that this is our sixth year of summer camp, but Isaac just did the math, and it's actually- It's our seventh. Seventh year. How did this seven start? Seven years. Okay, so this started seven years ago when I was looking through a like parent's guide magazine to Kansas City, and it was showing all the fun summer camps for the summer, and the cost of them was way outside of our budget, and so, I was like, what could we do? Like, I want them to have these fun experiences, but I don't want to pay all of this money. And so I was like, and how cool would it be to have those experiences with my kids? And so I talked to two of my friends who were crazy enough to go along with the idea, and I said, what if we pulled off a do-it-yourself at-home summer camp for our kids? And we started with an art theme, and it's now the rest is history. years. My idea for next year is fun. We did that this year. That's the theme, just fun? Yeah. What kind of stuff would you do? What would you learn about? Hmm. How to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> My idea is Espanol. Espanol. Do a Spanish one. I have an idea. Olympics because the Summer Olympics. Mm. Or Puerto Rico because we'll be in Puerto Rico. What do you think would be a good topic for summer camp? Hmm. How about spaghetti? Cooking. We can learn all about cooking, making pies, we're not Water. doing brownies Water. and everything. Water. We're not doing water. Water. We did do an ocean one where it was kind of like that, but water is a good topic. Water. Looking back, I think my favorite theme was Legos. Nene, what was your favorite one? Ashlyn. You like to play with Ashlyn? Yeah. <laughs> I just like the people. Arms up. Arms up. So I've been reading a lot of philosophy lately, and I've been interested that some of my favorite philosophers talk about how the simple, very normal, ordinary parts of life are the most beautiful and meaningful. You being a jellyfish? So today while the kids were at summer camp, I went to a counseling appointment. Kind of treat it like a car maintenance or getting a cleaning on your teeth. It's like a psychological, emotional checkup. It's good to have someone to listen to my thoughts and feelings and give me feedback on ways that I can be more emotionally healthy. I find that having that kind of introspection and help makes a difference for me as a father, as a husband, and in every other aspect of my life. Well, we worked together and cleaned up the front room and the kitchen. And when we all work together, with a good attitude, which happens sometimes. It goes so fast, I'm so grateful for that. I'm memorizing Morse code. How's it coming? I'm pretty good. You figuring okay. it out? Test. Yeah. Where are we heading? Yogurtini! Uh, yogurt yep. Isaac is getting tested with Morse code. J. 
dot dash dash dash. Correct. Oh, P. I'm thinking. Don't tell. Dot dash dash dot. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a motto in our family and we've said it for years, Johnston's are flexible. We say that because it is such a struggle, it's not something we naturally come by. But I was really proud of the kids because we came up to Yogurtini and they were really excited to go. There was a great special going on but the line was all the way out the door into the parking lot and we're tired. We did not have the emotional energy for that so we changed plans and now we're just getting vanilla cones at Dairy Queen and... And Dilly Bars. And Dilly Bars. Yes! yes. off her face. That's hilarious. Oh, gotta clean that too. One of Jeremy's favorite things on earth is dilly bars. Mm -hmm. Can I get us out? They're reading their top secret missions. Oh. Got it. Oh, got it. What? what? 